let's say um, you want to create a blend shape for a character. Uh, how do you go about doing that? And how do you go about connecting it to a control? I have a rig over here um, for this robot, and it has a uh, couple of curves around its head. This one over here is supposed to control its mouth, and when you move it down, as you can see, the robot's mouth moves down. But that's pretty much it, and it doesn't do anything else. So let's say uh, I wanted to add a blend shape to it. How do we go about doing that? Um, I'm going to try to make a blend shape for this <coughs> robot. It's going to be the blend shape that makes his mouth go in the shape of an O. And the way I want it to do that is I want to have it make that shape every time I rotate this about, let's say, 45 degrees. So what you do is, um, let's go ahead and let's select the, the shape we want it to form. And there's a couple of ways of going, out, uh, going about doing this. So I'll do it one way for one shape and I'll do it another way for another shape. So the first way you can go about doing this is the way I go about doing it, which is going to Windows, um, you go to Animation Editor, and you go to Shape Editor. And in there, it's going to show you a list of all of your blend shapes. So you want to create a blend shape. You click this button right here. And a blend shape will essentially be um, created right here. And in this blend shape, you want to create um, a target. So you want to target the object you selected as a part of the blend shape. And you're going to see the name of the object is going to appear right here. And the edit button's going to, uh, edit button's going to appear red. The edit button being red means that you can edit this blend shape or this, this object that you see right here that's selected into any shape you want. Um, as long as you don't delete anything or add any more edges or anything, um, you should be fine. Um, and essentially, it's going to be able to tra transform the original shape into the new shape. So uh, for the O, what I would do is I would uh, basically take maybe the top area of this mod. There you go. And so I turn the er edit button off and I turn the slider to see what the difference is. And I can see now there's a kind of O expression. Um, you can change it to whatever you like, but for this tutorial, I'm satisfied with this. So how do we go about connecting this um, shape to this curve? Well, every time you make a blend shape, um, the object that you made the blend shape on is going to have that node in its channel box right here. So um, the blend shape that we have uh, originally in the shape editor right here, uh, we can name this for convenience. In this case, we're going to call this O. Um, and you can even rename the object if you want to, and I'll call this O uh, blend shape. Uh, when you close that, um, when you select the model, you're going to see O selected right here, and it's the O O blend shape. So you should be good. So in order to connect these two, you want to open up the um, set driven key menu. So to do that, you want to go to animation, you want to go to key, and then you want to go to set driven key, and then click set. And so this curve is uh, the part of the rig, so it's going to be the driver. Um, and the um, object over here, one thing you'll notice, if you select the object and you load driven, it's only going to load some of the attributes over here. If you want to have control of the ad, um, um, driving the stuff over here, you're going to have to individually select the O um, attribute or the shape O, and then you're going to have uh, to have to click the button after that. And then you're going to see O show up. Once you see O, o show up, you want to just uh, click the name of the object, so O O B S. And in this case, what I said originally is I wanted it so that this curve, when I rotated about 45 degrees in that direction, that it creates that O expression. So um, that seems to be a rotate Z. So I'm going to click rotate Z. And uh, I'm going to click OOBS. And as of right now, um, with OOBS turned off and head controls rotate Z at zero, I'm going to click key. And as you can see, it's going to key. Then, after that, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to rotate it. Let's say, in this case, it would be negative 45 degrees. And I'm going to click this button over here to automatically select the next thing. And I'm going to select this and put this at 1. And I'm going to key. And by doing that, you now have created this. So what's another way to go about um, making a blend shape? The other way you can go about making a blend shape is you can make a duplicate of the object over here. Um, in this case, I'll unlock the controls. You move the object over here. And from there, you'll take this object and you'll, let's say, make a blend shape. Just change it to whatever you want. For this one, I'll have them kind of go like this. 
And so what you do is you select the object that you um, already altered, and then you select the original object, and then you go to deform, and then you go to blend shape. And in this case, I'll call this node, I'll call it uh, uh, E. If you open up the shape editor, you're gonna see E right here with the name of the um, object. So we'll just call this E. And do the same thing. We'll open up the set driven key. We'll so select the driver. We'll select rotate Z. Um, and then we'll select the um, the new blend shape that we created. In this case, it's gonna be called E. And load that as a driven. And we're gonna key it at zero as, as we did before. And this time, instead of going in the negative, we're gonna go in the positive. And we'll select E again. Bring this back to one key. And now we have this curve controlling the blend shape in this manner. Well, I showed you both techniques as well. So that's how a blend shape is made. And the last thing I gotta say about blend shapes is just make sure when you select the object, you go to input and you make sure that, um, that your blend shapes are all underneath your skin cluster. Uh, that, that way you won't have any issues with uh, the rig uh, kind of breaking um, in the future. So to do that, just middle mouse click uh, the the node and then just drag it underneath skin cluster. And just, just make sure skin cluster is above any and all blend shapes and clusters. This stuff like here that you can't uh, drag down, that's fine. That should be it for this.